Hi, welcome to Texas Lone Wolf Miguel, your source for Red Peel Truth. Right now, I am doing a video to sound off a warning. The boomers, the Gen X, already paid the price. At one time, we were young and dumb and arrogant. We had the whole world at our hand and we squandered everything off and winter came and we're paying the price for our mistakes, so to speak. And um, this, the millennials and Gen Z's, you need to take Take heed. This is a dating advice for the city girl mindset because winter is coming soon. You've been told ahead of time to prepare. A wise woman prepares for upcoming storms, taking refuge. She grabs her a man that she could find that's single, a good guy, a nice guy. She grabs herself a nice guy right now, saying he's all hers. They uh, connect, they hitch up. Okay? Winter is coming. Okay, what happens is. When they say that winter is coming, the city girl mind said, oh, you know what? As long as a woman's got her a good job, she's got her education, got a degree, she's got her house, got her car, she's got everything. But isn't she aware that beauty She's got it all, young. She just graduated school. She's got everything she ever wanted. Doesn't she realize that when she ages to hits that 30 year mark, that she becomes invisible to the men who've actually taken off? And gotten their stuff together. Some of these females have became single moms to some bums, the low value men, but they don't want to blame all the other men for their problems. But here's my question. Here is my question right here. So, if you want to go Take up for that bum that you slept with. Oh, you fell in love with that bum. He didn't produce nothing. All he did was gaslight at you and oh, said some little magical words. He had all that, everything. But you were not a wife material. You were that fun girl type. You were that fun girl type. So yeah, winter is coming. But take heed. Women are born rich and die poor. Born rich and die poor. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to take a look. What does this mean? So we're going to go ahead and cover this. Hmm. We are going to cover this. It is what it is. And... I'm going to be talking about a topic 
women, if you are watching this video, it's going to become kryptonite to you. You know, have you picked up a Superman comic book? Have you picked up that Superman comic book? Have you picked one up? Hmm? Have you picked up a comic book? You know, you see that Superman, he gets face with the uh, kryptonite. All right. He loses his powers. Hmm? He started losing his powers. Then... He is no good. He ain't no good. All right. He's not any good at all. He just, you know, this is going to be very brutal to share. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and and I'm going I'm to go ahead and um, you know I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, um, tell you this. Now let's go ahead and, and um, let's go cover this when the, the chicks hit the wall. The winter is coming. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to go ahead and put this up. City girl summer mindset. Winter is coming soon, and you've been told you can have it all by feminism. All right. I'm actually a male doing a video. Yes, you heard right, a video. I'm living in the uh, Lone Star State. So somebody else posted, and I'm going to go ahead and read what he said. He's a male living in New York City, early 30s. Below referring to American women in general, just about every woman going to hit the wall at some point. And you could say you're offended. Doesn't going through menopause count? Yes, that's, that's hitting the wall. Men are not going to be interested in you. Well, I'm going to have a... Well, go ahead. Listen. Say whatever you want. Call yourself a high-value woman. Just go ahead. Call whatever. If it, if it floats your boat, go for it. Now, specifically in... Actually, anywhere in terms of women that the friends with and uh, dated. The principle pretty much applied to every woman in general, regardless of nationality or location, due to biological imperative. Just remember, Mother Nature and Father Time work hand in hand. And you can, you can try your best to have your girl summer 
this well, this man better produce money. This man better have million dollars. You know all this little list of a grocery list that a man's got to match before you can be with him. You see, that entitlement and mythology is what is holding you back. Feminism is the primary culprit why women are single. Did you know that? In the single mother household brought a curse upon the generations. So, woman hits a wall around 28, 29. Actually, she peaks at 25 with her beauty. 26, it starts getting noticeably. She starts changing. And start, you know, I'm not going to go into the details. Before you go further, you need to explain what that means by the wall. Others will take it to mean that a wall is a physical decline, which you could argue all women hit the wall around 24, 25, which is their body starts to change chemically. You know, gain weight, metabolism no longer keeps up with the poor. Lifestyle choice, lack of exercise, overconsumption, alcohol, drugs, sedentary lifestyle, etc., 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 okay? Listen, women, I'm not going to go over here and pick on you. Men either, well, you know, they start going through changes as well. I'm going to make a video for men. In general, I'm gonna make another. I'm gonna make another video for men. They go through changes as well. The changes similar to what women go through. Okay. Now, but it's true that a woman's looks start to decline subtly by the time they're in their mid twenties. But they're but actually. Their value potential partner starts to, to starts to do. They say are increased, but actually decreased. It may sound like an oxymoron. So how can a woman' physicality begin to decline? Sexual appeal is not, now that's one of them. It'll start going downhill instead of uphill, as this here is saying. So. And um, now, here it is, the woman's timeline. And this is a, a timeline. 18 to 21, college, beautiful, paired, absolute emotional immaturity. Okay, 21 to 24, early career, retain most of their physical attributes, but maturing emotionally. A pretty young, naive, and immature. You know, pretty much going after these, uh, you know, these little hormone harries that with the urge to merge. No, these hormone harries don't. All they want to do is get, get free little, get a little trophy. You know, fun girl group. All right, twenty-five to twenty-nine, mid-career physical decline, and. Emotional maturity should crystallize. Usually uh, women in that age group right here start looking at older men, middle-aged and older men for partners. Okay, 30 to 35 is a very dangerous zone. Declining physical attributes, less flexibility in the terms of adapting to a partner and looks going downhill, eggs, egg production drying up that's what I'm saying about winter is coming soon for the Millennials and Gen Z's and they're gonna pass that curse on to the Gen Alphas and Gen Betas it's crucial if you want to reverse the generational curse it starts with the Millennials and Gen Z's right now so Timelines to illustrate a simple fact. One small area where a woman retains most of her physical attractiveness, offering up enough personality, life experience, maturity, 
wife, mother, roughly four years, 25, 29. Now, Now, how men evaluate women, okay, between 18 and 25 or so, most men don't take women serious enough to consider her, her as a life partner. She's most likely building a career, going out to clubs, bars, more interested in swiping on dating apps, even thinking about things like marriage or having kids, not to mention she's going, not going to be very interesting or engaging person to talk to. She has no life experience to share with an older man who is looking to settle down. And now, I, I disagree with this here. So between 25 and 29, where the women are most attractive, they have the right mixture of this and this, you know, attractiveness to personalities. Life experience, maturity, attract a man as a long-term partner. Past that point, they're on a short, slippery slope, slope to nowheresville, a.k.a. single forever. Once a woman hits 30, I mean, she lost almost 80 to 90 percent of her eggs. But she's going to start going through what's called perimenopause. This is the nature of biology change. You can argue with me, but you cannot argue with um, human nature. This is the changes that a woman goes through. And the stigma is attached. So me and myself have poor experience dating women in their 30s. To recount last three women in their 30s that tried to date one ghosted several weeks without offering any explanation. Second one told me going through personal issues. She's probably going through pure menopause. You know, and couldn't date right now. Third told me she's looking for a normal serious relationship. No, she's in denial, thinking she is the prize, which she isn't the prize. It's no wonder men flat out reject the notion of dating women in their 30s. Um, Many men will reject the notion of dating a female in their 30s. There's a stigma attached to them. Most of them have resolved personal, emotional issues or bitter damage or just don't know what they want in life, lack of maturity. If you fit in that group, you need to go to individual counseling to get yourself sorted out. It's not up to the men to fix the women. <laughs> if men do try to fix the women, then the men's going to need to go to therapy. And you might say, hey, wait a minute. Not all women want to be married, have kids, blah, blah, blah. You're right. And fool around on dating apps and all the super hot guys that you meet on the clubs and bars. And um, but he's right about this. But there's another problem. You got younger 18 and 20 year olds out there competing with you. So who's going to get the uh, who's going to get the highest? Bitter in a dating market, a 30 to 35 year old woman or an 18 to 20 year old woman? Who's going to get the most picks? If you said 18 to 20 year olds, then you answer the question. If you say 30 year olds, eh, no, you ain't going to be able to get that. And you're positioning yourself basically as a partner. And your value is only high as your physical attractiveness, which declines day by day, month by month, and year by year. And whenever you hit 35, 
given up on the idea of having kids, then you want a long-term partner to spend your life with, you might be fairly attractive, but when you meet another guy your age range, he becomes he's handsome, good job, charming, friendly, doesn't want kids either. He has no timeline for marriage. He isn't looking for it. So why date a 35-year-old woman if, if he wants a warm body in bed and she would seek out a younger man, younger women in his 20s if he wants to start his family? Now, in short, a 35-year-old woman to 45, that's a danger zone right there. If you try to go get pregnant while you're going through pure menopause and menopause, I mean, there's some bad things can happen. Kid can come out. Um, they could come out with loads of problems. Your egg quality isn't, isn't good like, like you were in your 20s. Winter is coming for the millennials and Gen Z's soon. Gen Z's, you can say that you're too pretty to go to work. You're too pretty and you're unaffected by the wall. Millennials, you can sit here and say, oh, well, you're high value and you're not affected and you can say all these things. But remember, winter is coming. It's coming. So, I'm going to go ahead and read this. So, in short, without the crux of the childbearing, a woman has no real value to a high-quality man besides providing bedroom fun, in which it a high-quality man can certainly attract younger women. And it's been true. And who can provide just as much bedroom fun. Why with more energy and more in a younger body. In Nowheresville, you'll find women in New York City in the early thirties who complain about a lack of good men. You know, women if you friend zone good men, they won't be there waiting for you. They won't be there. Either they moved off, they moved on, they blocked you from accounts, they ghosted you, they don't want nothing to do with you. In truth, good men aren't looking for them. That's the same thing with what I said. Good men are typically in their 30s with a good job careers now looking for a wife, but they're going to pick you. Of course, they still want to date and get to know a woman who they're going to marry eventually have kids with, so why? Pick 30-something-year-old woman. And, and here, here, okay, here it is. Here it is. And if he did, she would be about 35 by the time they get married, at the age when woman's fertility is in rapid decline, as long as hitting perimenopause, her chance of getting pregnant is lower and drops. Her chance of having a high-risk high pregnancy is higher and ask her chances of giving a child, uh, birth to a child with physical, physical birth defects. It's higher. The egg quality isn't good. There are some women that actually defied Mother Nature. It's herself. And gave birth to a healthy child in a very dangerous zone. And that high quality man looking for a woman in the mid, in, in the mid or late 20s Perfect sweet spot between physical attractiveness and maturity. And he can also lead and make her a model wife that he wants. Leave enough to get to know her and have fun, travel, sleep, go out, bedroom fun, marry and start the family. And um, this here, in summary, a woman isn't in a serious relationship because uh, at 29 and 30, she will never find a husband. And that is the wall. But they go into the 40s thinking that they can get pregnant. They're in denial. Basically, when you get in your 40s, 
you're basically or in your 20s with a cemetery of no non-existing eggs. Yeah, none. None to give. You'll never find a husband. That's a wall right there. Your looks are going to go downhill. Your voice is going to take a hit by Father Time. He's going to, he's going to take away that feminine voice you have and give you a masculine voice. Your, your, tone, your pitch of your voice is going to change when you get older. Did you get that? Your look, you, you're going to, if you smoke cigarettes like a freight train, you're, you're going to get crow's feet in your eyes. You're going to get wrinkles in your face. You're going to look really hideous. And smoking damages your beauty. Then you're going to come up with illnesses. Then you're going to start gaining weight. And, moreover, I'm telling you, millennials and Gen Zs, the, the winter is coming. And you can think you are all hot. You're going to stay young forever. You're in denial. Every woman who thinks she cannot be affected is in denial. Every woman. Um, I don't care what color your skin pigment it is. You're in denial. You can download this video if you want, but uh, you know the truth of the matter is, um, the wall is real. I, I tell you what, I challenge you this: go go hang around with your girlfriends or girls' night out, and look at the fear in their faces when they hit thirty. To 35. It's going to be. It's going to be very bad. So. With that being said. Um, they're attractive in their 30s. To attract two types of men. Okay. Much younger guys. Who have, have do not have access to women their age. Much older. Older guys who have been left behind that deem not husband material. In between men and those age and high quality, they aren't looking for someone with come so much baggage soon to be old enough, too old to have kids without considerable complication. Those two, are, those two men right there. In the um, see, by the time when women women hit their thirty year mark, they're gonna be looking for maturity in men. And they're younger than they are. They ain't going to have it. Listen. Men are born poor and die rich. They have to work their butts off. For the maturity to come on really slowly. And the attractiveness comes out on them. Now, I don't know who this individual is. Andrew John claims that men hit walls. And I got to go ahead and cover this. There's no wall for men. Only wall for men is being buried in a box and going six feet under when they're taking a dirt nap. That's the only wall that men hit. And James Cottrell is only uh, almost 70, considering having children. But he still, but he still carried to his family name. And. <clears throat> so. 
mean... There, there, there's, um... I mean, it, it is really brutal and honest. This here is uh, uh, brutal. Women have the best years of their life in front of them. Now, Sarah Brown wrote this. 17 things to remember when you hit the wall in life. All right. You think you have it all together. And suddenly one day you don't. You think you have the best in front of you. The road you selected presumably has no detours. Then suddenly you hit the wall. It can be discouraging when you're when your best laid plans go awry, awry but that wall is one you can bounce back from nope but she did say it could seem impossible to bounce back but it seemed like this is a dead end is permanent so I mean, you're, you're not going to find a husband past that age. You're not going to find anybody. Unless, unless you get therapy for your past trauma that you just went through. You can get therapy to help find yourself and say, hey, I don't want no kids. I'd like to fall in love with someone to grow old with. Um, athletes do hit the wall as well. They lose the energy and momentum during the race. So, really. And life is a race. All of it, and then hitting a the wall in life would come across as like obstacles that derail us, demotivate us. But um, now the women, they hit the wall hard. Now, um, I, I really don't agree with this. This, this woman is actually, I, I don't agree with her on that, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Now, dating advice for city girl mindset, okay? Winter is coming soon. And just to be honest with you, Um, if women don't want children, then have at it. And uh, whoever said that women don't hit walls is lying to you. And um, what's really sad is people are in denial. Now, Sharon Alger published um, an article about women hitting the wall. But I, I have to say that um, so what's going to happen is
she she does not you know women don't realize what they have till it's gone so here you go women should never fear hitting the wall that's according to an Australian article writer now let's dissect the cautionary tale delivered to young women okay by hitting the wall horror story of love rejection fear revenge wrinkles you know, everybody's going to go through that. Uh, if, if you actually took good care of yourself, you won't get no wrinkles. It's a new term, concept of centuries old. Society teaches women to fear the passage of time. That right there is like an hourglass. One day they warned the young women, you will grow old, you will age, gain weight, your boobs will drop, wrinkles will take over your face. This is the wall, depending on who you speak to. And uh, the age women reach, it varies. Different men say age is 25, 30, or 40. <clears throat> now... So, um, actually, to be honest with you, this is going to come, whether you like it or not. But remember, winter is coming. You need to grab the best men off the menu you can find. I mean, if he's young and dumb and full of you-know-what, and you grab him now, he will smarten up and start leading for you and become the best husband you ever had. You see, you see, women, it, this is how you're going to, you have to understand, in order for a man and a woman to become one, you have to have two funerals, okay? His old ways got to go and your old ways got to go. And both of y'all got to, come up with being two as being one flesh one mind one accord otherwise if both of y'all tied or not and none of y'all's ways are gone you're basically one body with two heads so to speak I'm glad you got a chance to listen to this video alright now there might be offensive you might get offended. But remember, when a woman goes through menopause, she already hit the wall. But unless she's married for a long time to the same partner, the wall does not even matter. It doesn't even matter at all, not one bit. And there are women out there who take on feminism and let that feminism morph into their ideological spectrum, they wonder why men don't take them serious. It is what it is. Now, thank you for watching this video, and peace out!